Hello guys, this is Sumit here once again from Study Hub and in today's lesson, I'm going to be solving a problem. Now, what is this problem? The problem is about multiple choice questions. Guys, a lot of students find multiple choice questions a little bit difficult. Now, how to solve these questions easily, how to solve these questions the quickest possible way is something I'm going to teach you today. Now guys, multiple choice questions are of two types, multiple choice questions single answer and multiple choice question multiple answer. Multiple choice question single answer is the type of question in which you have to choose one answer and then multiple choice multiple answer is the type of question in which more than one answer is correct. In this, today's class, I'm going to be solving this problem and the problem is of multiple choice question single answer and multiple choice questions multiple answer. Guys, a lot of us think multiple choice questions are not important. A lot of us think multiple choice questions, I'll just mark one, whichever one I can and I'll just go uh, next. Because um, you can score high in this question as well. You can score maximum in this question as well. There are different, different categories of this particular question. The first one is about author's opinion. So the question will, I will say what author or the author considers, considers something to be important because, or in other words, it, it may say, um, according to the author, what is the meaning of this or that, right? Those sort of questions. The second type of question is about the summary of the passage, right? Which, and the question can be like, um, what was the writer's main objective in this passage, right? Um, the third type of question is not about finding the correct answer, but it's about finding the best answer. For example, which of the following most accurately summarizes the given passage, right? So now they're saying most accurately, there could be more than one answer, but there was one best answer, right? And the fourth type of question is true, false, not given, right? We normally cover all these question types in our online um, classes, but, but I'm going to talk about some important strategies today. I'm going to talk about, first of all, how to figure out or how to solve the questions that are asking about author's opinion, author's opinion, right? And then I'm going to talk about how to solve questions that are asking you about true, false and not given means which of the following is true, which of the following is false, which of the following is not given. Please watch the full video. If you really want to solve these questions properly, I am sure after watching this video, you will find multiple choice questions much easier and guys also if you have not subscribed the channel yet make sure you subscribe hit, hit the bell icon icon now um after the last video there are i did mention that four people every week will be chosen um for the free resources 100 rows worth of free resources and then one person will be getting the course for free right the whole course for free now i'm going to be putting the names of these people somewhere in the in the middle of the video and i'll talk about it these are the people who have subscribed this course um, and they're getting about 100 dollars worth of resources um, and then there is one person who's getting full free course which is worth 690 aud i'm going to be announcing the names in the middle of the video but let's start with this question guys first um multiple choice question single answer there are three parts to this question number one there is a passage number two there is a question number three there are options right what we have to do is in order to we have to do two things one we need to save time and second we need to get the correct answer in order to save time what should i do should i read the question first should i read the passage first or should i read the options first a lot of people read the question then read the options, circle some main keywords from the options, and then they look at the passage. Some students read the passage, then the question, and then the options. Guys, there is nothing right, there is nothing wrong, but it's all about being good, better, and best. And I'm gonna talk about the best strategy. The best strategy is, guys, you read the question first, then passage, and then the options, right? Question, passage, and then options. Now, in this particular type of question, what's gonna happen is all these options or, or most of these options will be mentioned in one way or another in the passage, right? But all of them won't be the answers. And if I read these options first, before reading the passage, my brain will tell me to match. The, it kind of matches thing. It's going to be like, oh, I've seen this. I've seen this option. I've seen this option. That's the right answer. So we try to get confused. Now, there are more reasons why we shouldn't read options, but keeping the video short, I'm, I'm not going to talk much about it. If you can follow question, passage and then options, right? Now I'm going to talk about two types of strategies. First of all, when it's about author's opinion, the author considers, so look at this question, it says the author considers statistics to be important because in other words, 
what are we looking for is we're looking for why our statistics important and if we only look for why our statistics important we will get the right or wrong answer right in order to get the right answer we have to understand the proper question the proper question says why are statistics important according to the author according to the author now guys whenever the question is about author's opinion whenever the question is about author's opinion you have to focus on four places right or you need to remember four things number one you look for phrases like the fact is the fact is you look for phrases that say it must be recognized it must be recognized right we must remember we must remember it is necessary to right it should not be forgotten those sort of phrases are impersonal ways of giving authors opinion right and we need to focus on those places your answers are normally near those phrases phrases i'll show you an example i'll show you probably one or two examples right so now look at this particular passage and, and you can try it anywhere you can try it on the repeated questions which i'll show you in a minute as well um you can try it anywhere when they're asking about author's opinion right author's opinion your answers are normally near the fact near must be remember it must be recognized now there's a reason for this right reason is this is impersonal way of giving opinion right but I won't go as I said too much into detail now keeping this YouTube video short um, I'm gonna talk about it I'm gonna show you the strategy right so we read the question first the author considers statistics to be important because right why are statistics important according to the author and then I read the passage governments business and many type of institutions collect organize and record statistics statistics capture vital information about such things as economy population and environment and therefore allow meaningful comparisons to be made this can then inform decisions and plain plans about such issues which in turn become public policies while it may be the issues behind the statistics rather than the statistics as such that command public's attention it must be recognized that it's the figures that inform these issues right now i'm going to go back to the options the author considers text to be important because because they are recorded by official organizations so i have to see when i read this passage i have kind of indexed a few things for example in the beginning they're talking about recording something in the middle they're talking about plans and policies they in the at the end they're talking about the figures that figures and issues something like this right so they're recorded by official organizations it says business governments and many types of institutions collect organize and record statistics now are these organizations are they official organizations well well yes they are they are official organizations so they record statistics so statistics are recorded by official organizations right is that right well it's matching right but can this be the answer answer is no it cannot be the answer why can't it be the answer well the reason is it says they are recorded by official organization yes they are recorded but is that the reason why author considers statistics to be important it doesn't say that it doesn't say that's why they are important right then it says the journal public have interest in them right there are talking about public attention here such that's um maybe the stress rather than stress government public attention but well, no it doesn't say anywhere that the journal public have interest in them right they are affected by plans and policies are they talking about yeah they're talking about plans and policies in the middle plans and then policies it says statistics are affected by plans and policies it says statistics capture vital information about such things as economy population and environment and therefore allow meaningful comparisons to be made so for example what they are saying is they are saying statistics capture capture means they record important information about economy population and environment for example talking about australia so they're going to see in 2010 the population was say 30000 people in an area in 2015 the population is about 17000 sorry um 70000 and then in 2018 the population is approximately 90000 now we know population is increasing it says therefore allow meaningful comparisons to be made right from this we can see population is increasing this can then inform decisions and plans about such issues which in turn become public process so that that's when we make decisions and plans so now we know population is increasing we know we need to make plans for example we need a better infrastructure for example we need to send more people to regional area that's a plan as well and then which becomes public policy so they are saying policies and plans are made based on the 
statistics but the option says statistics are affected by plans and policies right and also it doesn't say anywhere that's why they are important so one it's opposite it's completely wrong and second it doesn't say anywhere that's why they're important so these three are not the answers and then says they assist in driving public issues so where are they talking about public issues or oh, there are issues issues here while it may be the issues behind the statistics rather than the statistics that come on public attention now when you have these inverted commas guys sorry not inverted these quotation these commas here you have comma in the beginning and at the end now this rule is called a positive right and the close the sentence that is being used in the middle of these commas are non-essential clauses right non-essential means sentence is complete without these clauses so if you read this sentence while it may be the issues behind the statistics it must so this is just explaining a little bit more about this sentence it must be recognized now must be recognized is my key author's author's opinion it must be recognized that it's the figures that inform these issues it's the figures means they assist in driving public issues is the answer is it making a little bit of sense all right so correct answer is they assist in driving public issues now look at this particular question it says why is it difficult to establish the number of spaces globally why is it difficult to establish the number of spaces globally now i want you to look at this particular question and tell me what's the answer right and then i'll explain pause the video and check it out right now okay i believe you would have paused the video and tried to find the answer i know some of you have chosen c as the answer some of you have chosen b as the answer and some of you have chosen d as the answer right these three right but the answer is only one it's either b c or d i don't think anybody would have chosen a though it's mentioned there are innumerable different species in the prelent planet but it doesn't say anywhere that's why it's difficult to find the number of spaces globally now this particular question is more of finding information right finding information um finding information is more like what so 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 what we do what, what what sort of strategy do we use here we look at the keywords and we try to find the keywords in the passage for this one difficult to establish number of spaces globally impossible to establish definite number with any confidence those are sort of words are the keywords so that's where we focus on the most um and then it says um the complexity of trying to do this do this do what um, many people have tried to estimate it and the complexity of trying to estimate it probably makes it impossible to def de uh, establish a definite number with any coverage this is probably due to the fact now fact is always important the fact is the fact that new species are continually appearing while at the same time existing species evolve and some become extinct it means some the fact is fact again is important there and then it says some species or new species are continually appearing at the same time some are gradually developing into something and then some are becoming extinct means they are constantly changing right c is wrong because it says currently more species are appearing than becoming extinct um, it says opposite nowadays this trend has reversed right in past number of species appearing exceeded the number of those dying out in past more species were appearing and less were dying out but nowadays this trend has reversed means more are dying less are taking birth but this one says they are more appearing less becoming extinct so this is going to be wrong human action has upset the balance of natural environment yes it has happened due to human activity this trend has revert result but that's not the reason why we can't count them the reason why we can't count them is because the fact is new species are continually appearing while at the same time existing species evolve and some become extinct is it making a bit of sense guys now i'm going to talk about the next thing which is true false and not given what you have learned so far is easy now what you're going to learn is the most important thing and the most confusing question now guys i know finding the true option is easy Finding the false option is not too difficult either, but finding the not given option is always difficult, right? And I'm going to show you a very interesting and very tricky question. Now, rather than showing you multiple choice single answer, I'll just choose one multiple choice multiple answer, so we have an idea of that one, that one as well. We get an idea of that too, right? So, guys, look at this particular question. It says it's a multiple choice question, multiple answer. Now, what I'm going to show you right now is an exam repeated question. Now, these are the exam repeated questions which are repeated in your actual exam most of the time. We do provide these questions as a part of the online course. Um, but I'm going to share one of these questions. I'm going to discuss one of these questions in this lesson today, right? So it says, first one is which of the following 
statements in respect to education and examination system are true as per the text. Now, this is asking about true, right? Which is not too difficult. This is say this one says which of the following statements with respect to fungus cannot be derived from the text. Now, cannot be derived means which of them is missing, right? Means not given. Um, sorry, which of the following statements? It's not one statement, multiple choice, multiple answer. Um, this one says light exercises can be supported from the text means again true matching it um when it can be supported again true right um what can be the possible reason for increasing neglect in children finding information um which of the following is true in respect of effect of water pressure on humans again true means finding the right one uh, and then there are some others right um some of them are about finding the best option means most accurate summary there are other strategies for that that's another common question very common question but there's a different strategy that we teach in our online groups online coaching right online training now about online course guys how do we run these online courses how do we help students how do we help hundreds of students in our online courses every question there is there is a total of roughly 17 questions which are basically very uh, important and difficult we have strategy lessons for each and every question means we have made youtube similar to this we have made longer videos to teach the strategies that you can learn anytime that right? you'll get you get access to an online portal where you can access these video lessons anytime in your own time but the problem is guys by learning even by looking at strategies you can't just you can't just improve this improve the score especially when you're targeting eight right what you need is you need a particular teacher who can assess your work who can guide you who can help you who can tell you where are you going wrong who can check your work at least or, or almost every day who can take some live lessons with you as well and and that's what you get in our online course as well um, along with the video lessons you get a teacher you get one of the master coach who is going to help you um, structure your program find out where are you weak which questions do you need need to spend maximum time in where do you need to spend less time you need a you need a coach who's gonna help you find your mistakes you can send your work every day to this teacher you can contact this teacher via phone via whatsapp via email and the teacher is always there for you and this is a dedicated teacher for your online course um, and the teacher is going to be taking live lessons every friday every saturday there are two two hours lessons for those who and then every monday tuesday as well for those who can't attend the lessons the lessons are recorded as well these live lessons too and we can replay them for you as well if you can't attend them right and there's a lot of bit of mo uh, there's a lot of motivation in the group as well all students are studying together they have questions they are answering and there's a very good environment there what you also get is a lot of questions which are repeated in the exam basically the question bank for example fill in the blanks there are roughly 400 which are repeated most of the time you get access to those ones as well you get access to all the exam repeated recent material you get access to practice exams a teacher who's looking after you all the time along with the video lessons about strategies right that's how we kind of help and make sure um, that we hold your hand and take you to the next uh, level and help you improve the score but coming back to this question guys true false are not given now considering the time i'm not gonna spend much time on true since it's easy i'm not gonna spend much time on false since it's not too difficult either i'm gonna spend more time on not given and let me show you an example yes guys so I'm going to talk about true, false and not given in multiple choice questions. Now, true, false, not given in multiple choice questions can be, they can be a little bit tricky. So there is going to be a passage and there is going to be an option. For example, the passage says Sam drives a car and the option says car is driven by Sam. Are these options or are these two things matching? Well, yes, they are matching. If they are matching, the answer is going to be true. If the passage says Sam drives a car and the option says Sam doesn't drive a car right the answer is going to be false because they are contradictory right if the passage says Sam drives but the option says Sam drives a car so car is missing in the passage that's why it's going to be not given so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a passage and I'm only going to only going to give you one line one sentence to make it easy for you right and I'm going to give you one sentence and I'll give you four options your task is to find which of the following are true false and not given or see if you can get this right so the passage is Bob goes to school regularly he is a very hard working and punctual student option number one Bob is a regular student at school I want you to answer this question to yourself, yes or no, true, false or not given, right? Bob is a regular student at school, is it true, 
false or not given right a lot of you will think yes some of you may say no some of you may say not given but i'm gonna say true because it says because it says um bob goes to school regularly bob is a regular student similar thing right bob goes to school often well does he go to school often well he goes regularly so he does go to school often as well so maybe maybe bob likes to be punctual for the class he is very hard working and punctual individual right does he like to be punctual uh i don't know some of you will say true and some of you will say false and some of you may say not given as well right so i'm gonna write all of them here bob is a very hard working student right is he hard working well that's what it says he's a very hard working and punctual individual so maybe right so now guys that's what happens normally happens in our um that's how we see things that's how we answer questions but guys the the problem is all these options that we have chosen are they actually right are they actually wrong and how do they actually play with our brain at times well they play with our brains based on the logical information right based on the logic you're not supposed to answer these questions based on the story you're actually supposed to answer these questions based on the logic right so what is logic let's understand it's going to be very interesting guys keep an eye very interesting right so what we're going to do is our focus is going to be on the option bob is a regular student at school so i have to find bob i have to find regular i have to find student and then i have to find school right can i find bob in the passage yes i can can i find regular in the passage yes i can can i find school in the passage yes i can can i find student in the passage well the answer is no bob goes to school regularly bob is a regular student well if he goes to school regularly does that mean he's a student the answer is no it does not mean does does that mean he is not a student no it doesn't we don't even know if he is a student or not right so the answer for this particular one is not going to be true it's going to be not given it's going to be not given why because the word student is missing from the passage and that is how they try to trick you right these things and i'm going to show you exact same thing in the multiple choice questions in a minute right in a minute so it says bob goes to school often right bob goes to school regularly and he goes to school often right could that be right well it can be right it says he goes to school regularly does that mean he goes to school often well yes he does Bob likes to be punctual. Well, it says he is punctual, but does that mean he likes to be punctual? We don't know this. Does that mean he doesn't like to be punctual? We don't know this. So the correct answer for this this one is going to be not given as well. Right? Bob is a very hard working student. Right? Bob is there hard working is there but is the student there no so the answer for this one has to be not given as well is it making a bit of sense guys right now let's look at this option this passage as well so it says which of the following state statements in respect to fungus cannot be derived from the text now they're not saying which can be derived they're saying cannot be derived right which means which of the following are either perhaps not given or perhaps false in this particular context right so it says observe the dilemma of fungus dilemma is a situation where you are kind of on the side you either you're confused whether you should go for this side or that side right those sort of questions is that sort of situation it says observe the dilemma of the fungus it's a plant but it's it possesses no chlorophyll while all other plants out in the sun's energy um put, put the sun's energy to work then work for them combining the nutrients of the ground and air into the body structure the fungus must look elsewhere for energy supply it finds it in those other plants which having received their energy free from the sun relinquish relinquish it at some point in their cycle either to animals like us humans or to the fungi in this search for energy the fungus has become the earth's major source of rot and decay wherever you see mold forming on a piece of bread or a pile of leaves turning into compost or a blo blown down ground tree becoming pulp or ground you're watching the fungus eating without fungus action the word would be piled high 
with the dead plant of past centuries. In fact, certain plants which contain resins that are toxic to fungi will last indefinitely. Specimens of the redwood, for instance, can still be found resting on the forest floor centuries after having been blown down. Which of the following statements in respect to the fungus cannot be derived? Fungus cleans up the planet for us. Can this be derived? Fungus cleans up the planet for us. Does it clean up the planet for us? Well, I believe, yes, they were saying without without fungus action, earth would be piled high with dead plant and last in life of past centuries. So is fungus important? Does it clean? Well, yes, it does. But are we looking for the right answer or the not given one? Well, we are looking for the not given one. So can this be the answer? No. Why not? Because it's clearly given. Right? Fungus is a non parasitic plant. Is this thing given? Well, no, they're not talking about parasites or parasitic plant anywhere. Um, it doesn't say it's a plant. It's a plant. It does say, but it poses no chlorophyll. But does that mean it's a non parasitic plant? No, it doesn't. Right? So I'm going to choose this one right. Mold is a representation of fungus. Uh, I think it is mentioned somewhere. I did see this one. I do remember this one. Wherever you see mold forming on a piece of bread, um, you are watching a fungus eating. So is this thing mentioned? Yes, it is mentioned clearly as well. So can this be the answer? No, it cannot be the answer. All right? Then it says fungus cannot eat some type of dead matter, right? Fungus cannot eat some type of dead matter, right? Dead matter. I think that's right as well. It says certain plants which contain resins that are toxic to fungi will last indefinitely. Specimen of redwood, for instance, can still found resting in the forest floor centuries after having been blown down. So it means it cannot eat some plants, which is mentioned there as well. So that's true and it can't be the answer. Fungus cannot source energy on its own, at its own. Now, some students will be confused over here, right? Um, this is the right answer. Why is it the right answer? It actually says, if you read the paragraph clearly or carefully, it says fungus must look for el elsewhere for energy supply. It, it doesn't say, it actually says fungus cannot, fungus cannot put sun's energy, right? sun's energy to work right it finds it those other plants or in those other plants which having received their energy from the sun relinquish at some point during their cycle so it doesn't say fungus cannot source energy from on it at its own it actually says it cannot source energy from sun right it cannot source energy from sun but it doesn't mean it cannot find its energy source it is actually able to find its energy source it 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 finds its energy source um, on the on a pile of dead leaves on a, on the bread which is forming mold everywhere it can source energy so means this particular answer is going to be right but did you see how they're trying to trick you a lot of students won't choose this option why not because it says cannot source energy and it's going to feel like feel like they're saying well uh, it cannot put sun's energy to work well putting sun's energy to work and cannot source energy they are two different things right M makes a bit of sense now what should i do uh, for this particular question guys uh, if you've chosen one option and you know it's right right and for the second one you're skeptical leave it choose just one if you're sure with one one, one of them but if you're sure about the second one only then choose the second one otherwise there is no point choosing the second one because there's negative marking as well but if you work the way i have taught you just now on some other questions multiple choice questions a lot of them are repeated as well and we do provide them as a part of the course online course um uh, so guys uh, if you work on these multiple choice questions this way, working a little logically, right? I'm sure you'll be able to solve a lot more of them, uh, a lot more questions quite easily. You won't have to worry about getting right or wrong. But yes, there are other questions. For example, there is most accurate summary. For example, there is the summary of the passage, how to summarize the passage. We do teach those questions in our online course as well. Um, and guys, if you have not subscribed the channel to get videos like this, make sure you subscribe. And on the screen, you will see the students who are getting the free resources. Um, these are the students. These are the subscribers who are chosen um, uh, to get the free resources and then at the bottom there is the student who's who's allowed or who's 
chosen who has been chosen randomly chosen to get the free course as well this is the student and if your if your name is there make sure you contact us i i mean i already have the addresses email addresses of these students but you can contact us as well if you don't find the you will be sent these um, the directions to get these hundred dollars worth of resources um, by tomorrow or within 24 hours after this week after the release of this video i hope this was helpful guys um, have a wonderful time thank you